Okay, so you have your school wheel wedges and you're not sure how to prop yourself. I'm going to do a little quick video about how to do that properly. I have Mr. Spiny here as um, my demonstrator, <laughs> as my subject. Um, and he has a curve over on his left upper thoracic and right lower thoracolumbar area. So um, if you are looking at yourself in your x-ray and you can see that you have a curve, um, you are basically going to prop where your curve is pushing out to the side. Um, this is just one way to determine it. There are several different ways that you can go about doing this. Um, so at spine, we would be propping over here and we're putting the uh, narrow end in first and we would be propping down here as well. So this is his back. So he would lay down and the wedges would be there. And what that's doing, that's putting him up into a more neutral alignment so that you can strengthen within that neutral alignment instead of strengthening within your curves. I'm also going to demonstrate on myself so you, that you can see it differently. So I have a right um, thoracolumbar and then um, I also have one over here in my lower lumbar. So you're basically propping to kind of balance that area. So. I prop over here. So this is a longer wedge so that it crosses my thoracic spine and it goes into my lumbar spine. And then I'm going to prop over at my hip so that I don't keep rolling over to my left, okay? So that's how I prop on my back. And then it would be the opposite on my stomach. So I would basically just flip around and then flip the wedges around. So the fat end goes in first, and then I would prop here at my ribs, and then here at my hip. I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you have any questions, you can send me a message or an email at mediclunk at gmail.com, or you can check out my website at www.mindfulmovementptpilates.com. Have a great day.